Mm. I'm glad Mike's left you something, Jay. He deserves it, doesn't he, Frank? Would you like to come in? I'm here to support Danny. More like you're hoping he'll support you. <laughs> if you remember, Mike regarded me as his daughter-in-law. There's no in-law about it, love. So if you're hoping to snatch a few crumbs, forget it. And I hereby revoke all wills and testamentary dispositions heretofore made by me and declare this to be my last will. To Jamie and Warren Baldwin, I leave the sum of five thousand pounds each. To Adam Barlow, I leave the sum of ten thousand pounds. To Danny Baldwin, <coughs> excuse me. I leave my apartment at 4 Montreal House Weatherfield Keys, my villa at 245 Via de la Cruz, Spain, and all remaining cash and shares, including my controlling 51% share of Underworld Limited. Adam? Adam? What's happened? He got the lot, didn't he? Uh, you know, I don't know what to say. I mean, I weren't expecting that. It, it, it's as big a surprise for me as it is to you. You can't help yourself, can you? You've always got to have what doesn't belong to you. No, Jamie. J Jamie! I saw him just after you left, and he didn't look like he even remembered what you'd fallen out about. I told you. Danny would have reminded him. That still doesn't mean he knew about the will. He probably dictated it. He's not going to leave something like that to fate. Not when he might lose out. Hey. I know you ate your dad, but you can't go blaming everything on him. So it was just a lucky coincidence, was it? Look, I'm sorry for Adam, but in the end it's up to Mike who he leaves it to. Except it wasn't, was it? My dad didn't know what he was doing. Danny did. I'm not listening to this. Come on, Nath. <laughs> 